Right, hello. Um, just got this Atari 2600 Plus um, from Amazon. Uh, it's out today. You can get it from Amazon or uh, Atari Direct. It's a genuine Atari product. Um, what makes this particularly special is it's not just your usual kind of mini or classics console with games, games built in. This actually will play original uh, Atari 2600 cartridges. Now, why it is a bit of a niche product because I don't think that would be up for everybody. But why I, I, why it's good for someone like me is, is that you can actually output this straight to HDMI to a modern TV and it will upscale it and you can still play your original games. The 2600 only outputs RF and modern TVs don't really have that input. And unless you use like a, an RF upscaler or uh, a digital video recorder, uh, you won't be able to get from on TV. And when you do, the picture is quite rubbish, quite frankly. So I'm really excited to be able to plug in um, games from a collection and um, actually get them upscaled to HD. It's also got an official Atari joystick. And I do believe you can plug in the original Atari joysticks and paddles from back in the day as well. Um, but I'll have to dig mine out of the box to test that. So here we go, this is the box. Um, very nicely packaged, genuine Atari product. You get 10 games in one cartridge with old school dip switches so you can select the game. That's really, really nice. Um, and if you look at the back of the box, obviously the 10 games included Adventure, Combat, uh, it's a classic, Dodgem, Haunted House, Maze Craze, Missile Command, that's a classic, Real Sports Volleyball, Surround, Video Pumble, Pinball, Pumble, Pinball, and Yars Revenge, which is another classic. Um, it will also play as far as my way is it the 7800 games as well so really exciting if you're a collector of our old Atari uh, games and consoles so I'm really really excited to open this so I'm just going to undo the really difficult sticky seal thing see if we can get that off without ripping the box so here comes the box opening up and uh, if you look at that that's really nicely packaged and I'll just take the protective layer off as you can say, 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 I'm speaking of a real black country person that I am. Uh, slightly scaled down version of the original Woody uh, Atari console. Uh, I've never had a Woody or a Darth Vader back in the day, but I did have an Atari 2600 Junior. Um, obviously got the power switches. Do they work? Yes. Uh, I wonder if you can actually swap the colour to black and white, and, uh, to colour in black and white, we could back in the day. <coughs> the game select and game reset switches are there. Um, <coughs> original joystick ports. Uh, which I assume you can put them in, uh, all the original kind of switches, uh, and also that very important HDMI output. So as you can see, that's really, really nice, really nice product. Uh, Atari logo lights up as well. Um, that is really, really nice. Um, and I'm just going to attempt to plug my pole position cartridge in it and see if it goes in. And look at that nice firm uh, connection. Really, really happy with that. Let's get that out. We're looking forward to that. Uh, quick guide, usual stuff. And also in the box, we've got, let's have a look. Uh, this is a very nice Atari box. Um, oh, I'm pulling the wrong things. There we go. So this is the 10 games in one cartridge. Open that up there. It's probably the usual stuff of, oh, this might be the joystick actually. Ooh, let's try not to. Damage. All that feels really nice. Um, as you can see, a good uh, Atari CX joystick. Feels really, really nice. I wonder if that's actually improvement over the original design because the original was a bit loose. I um, wonder if you know, 30, 40 years of engineering have improved the response on that. Um, still got the original joystick connector. So that's fabulous. That feels really nice, really good quality. Um, that's 10 games in one. Um, just you know, cardboard sleeve. And that's the cartridge itself with the dip switches so you can select your games, you know, like Adventure Combat Dodger, just by moving the dip switches on the back. Proper authentic old school stuff there with the dips, really, really like that. Um, this is a lovely, lovely box. I really do love all this um, Atari logo in everywhere. It's fantastic. I could just open that one as well without damaging anything. What have we got in here? <clears throat> We've got... HDMI lead, standard issue, and a USB, I can't tell if, yeah, a USB connector, um, because there's no power brick that comes with that, but that should just fit into like a phone charger or a regular USB plug. So there you go, lovely bit of kit, looking forward to looking that up and seeing what the games uh, look like. Um, lovely box, lovely presentation. Uh, as I say, you've got to supply your own plug, but most modern 
console recreations are like that. Um, as I say, I really like that box, I want to look after it. And just to finish, uh, I want to show you some of these original Atari cartridges. We've got Pole Position, which you've seen already. Um, Battle Zone. Um, the rather classic Pitfall, still plays great today. Just said they've been well used, these cartridges. And Defender. Now, if you look at these cartridges, the box art on them is just phenomenal. They don't make video games like that anymore with quality artwork. That Defender covers a bit uh, faded, but it does look really, really good. It's a great piece of art. So, yeah, all these Atari boxes were like pieces of art. It's amazing. Right, thank you for watching. Um, I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. Really well built, uh, outwardly. Hopefully it all works all fine enough to the TV. So thanks for watching.